the answer from AI is up to the reflection of the prompt that is being used. So the better the prompt, the better the answer. But unfortunately, it is not exactly easy to craft a perfect prompt that would yield a good answer. The good news is that you can use AI to improve your existing prompt. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use perplexed AI to improve your own prompt. For example, here I do have this simple prompt that says analyze the contribution of Rome to Western civilization. And it analyzes my prompt and it gives me a much detailed, much more thorough prompt that will give me a lot better answer compared to if I'm just using this basic prompt. So here's how you can create this tool, basically a custom space in perplexity to achieve this result. Okay, let's go to perplexity.ai and you can log in with your account. Now, uh, let's navigate to spaces and click this icon to create a new space. So uh, I think it is worth mentioning that I'm using perplexity and it has a feature called space, but on ChatGPT, it also has a similar feature called custom GPT in the Gemini AI. They also have the uh, feature called gem, which is again, very similar. So you can apply this method on ChatGPT or Gemini and basically the process is more or less the same just create a new space and then you can put some custom instructions later now I'm going to call this space prompt enhancer and I'm going to be I'm going to be adding some custom instructions so emoji and description are optional they're not necessary but custom instructions are very much mandatory even though this label says it is optional but in this case it is very much mandatory Okay, this is the full prompt or instructions that you can use. Don't worry, I'm going to put the full prompt in the video description. Now I'm going to copy this and let's paste that to this field. Okay, now click continue. And Perplexity will create a new space based on that instruction. So you can always review the prompt again by clicking on this context button and you can click this icon. And if there is anything that you want to change, you can do it right here. But I think this prompt is going to do a quite a great job most of the times. Okay, let me just close this. And uh, let me try, let's say I want to create an article about how to preserve battery on Steam Decks. So let me write the basic prompt. Write me an article about how to preserve battery on Steam Deck. Preserve, okay. And the model, sorry, the mode is regular search and the model here is very important. Basically, you don't want to use the reasoning model and I'll talk about that later. Just use any model that is not reasoning and in this case, I'm, I'm going to go with GBT 4.1. And honestly, any model can work, but uh, GBT is actually often known to be very good at following your prompt. So that's actually why I prefer GBT 4.1 here. And after that, you can send a message and just wait for Perplexity to analyze your prompt and will give you an um, enhanced version. Okay, so it is very quick and this is basically the result. It's much longer than this basic prompt. Now, uh, you can copy this and uh, there's a reason why I'm putting it in the code window. So you can always copy this content without having to manually copy from, you know, selecting the text or copying from this button. So uh, since it is in the code window, you can just click this copy icon and the content will be copied to your clipboard and you can use it on a new chat window. Now, why I do not recommend using the reasoning model? Well, because honestly, it is not going to always improve your prompt sometimes it might just do the execution so this is another example that has similar keyword or similar prompt uh, write me and write an article about how to preserve battery on steam deck and i was using the o3 model i believe okay yeah it was o3 and as you can see it is not actually giving me a prompt it is giving me the full answer so the reason is that because it will think before giving you the answer. And a lot of times uh, in the step process, it will actually do the improvement in the background and will give you the result at the end. So sometimes this is something that you want to happen. Sometimes you don't want it to happen. So I cannot say whether this is a good or bad behavior because it's really up to you. Sometimes people just want to get the answer after the prompt has been improved, which I think makes a lot of sense. So you can definitely use the reasoning model if you want to achieve that result. 
Anyway, that's basically how you can use the property space to improve your own prompt. Again, the full instruction will be available in the video description and you can always navigate to space and then go to the prompt enhancer uh, space again and you can start the conversation right uh, from there to improve your own prompt. And that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.